Hey everybody on YouTube, good morning. Today I'm gonna do a response to uh, I think a handful of uh, emails I've been getting. A lot of people have been asking me about equipment and am I gonna be doing SDI video recording and some other things. Uh, yes, I'll be doing some SDI video capture pretty soon. I'm just gearing up to that. Um, since I use a PC, I, like I said, I, I have my standards set up to what I normally do. But I've been looking for equipment, finding different equipment, and we're going to be doing some higher uh, type of uh, recording like with a Mac and various different things coming up very, very soon. Uh, first of all, I'd like to point out some stuff that I got. Um, I want to point this out. I do this a lot. If you know how to uh, find equipment and you know what you're looking for, you could really score big. I mean, really big if you know what you're doing. Um, I want to give you guys one of my secrets. If you're working on a very, very low budget and don't have very, very much money, it does pay off to do what I do, all right? Basically, if you want to find equipment, and a lot of people are like, yeah, right, you're not going to really find anything. That's not true at all. Uh, first of all, if you want to find equipment, you may want to start looking at the Goodwill stores. I know some people do do this, but I do this a lot. And I want to point out a few things I've got and a few things I've gotten recently. There is three Goodwill, uh, Goodwill stores in my local area that I hit all the time because, of course, I work on electronics, so I know what the stuff is worth. I know the value of it, and I know how to repair a lot of it. So I go to Goodwill stores all the time to answer that question from Diane. Diane asked me, if, do I ever go to Goodwill for some of the stuff that I'm looking for? Yeah, I do, but I do find some good stuff, and sometimes I do have to repair the stuff that I find. But I want to go over with a few things I just got this week and, you know, about a month ago, a couple finds that I also found. But this is a few things I just got this week, some amazing finds. So let's point this out real quick. First of all, what you're looking at, this is an inline um, component video processor switcher. What it does is actually switches component signals you know, you could connect a multiple amount of things. You go as high as eight different pieces of equipment on this thing with eight different audios. And you could switch from one to the other. And it's, it's good for video equipment such as myself because I have so many different connections and various different things. It makes it a lot easier to switch without um, unplugging stuff like crazy, going nuts, trying to connect things up. Well, I saw this on the, on the shelf and I was blown away because this is a studio production switcher. switcher. These are very, very expensive. They're not cheap. I picked this up to, uh, you ain't going to believe this, I picked this up for $5, and it works. I couldn't believe it. The thing actually does work, and it works really well. Well, this is for, like, component video. If you have a lot of uh, video decks that are component out, you could connect to this thing and switch to one common output so you can go straight to a capture card or through time-based correction. And you'll have a multiple ar array of switching options instead of plugging things in and unplugging things and all that kind of stuff. You could use this as your patch bay to, to switch from various different video recorders and video decks. This is an expensive switcher. They were not cheap in the day. I, I think they were as high as over you know, 1500 bucks when they were new. But this was made by Inline. It's an MSG uh, series, and I and I've used to use these in TV stations. They're very, very expensive. I picked this up for $5 at Goodwill. Unbelievable. I can't believe somebody would donate something like this. And, of course, I want to show something that's really cool. This is called an SDI. Analog to SDI converter. You use these with the uh, ProRes recorders that you can buy, which, you know, of course, is an Apple product type of uh, recorder for Apple recordings on Apple computer systems. But if you have uh, a ProRes, you could do Apple files, you know, for ProRes, for editing, production, and whatever. But uh, this is the actual converter, the mini converter. These sell for quite a bit uh, on... Uh, on eBay, and if you're going to buy them, they're still like between 100 or more. So, you know, you're looking at the 200 hour price range, which most people are selling these at, or 150 in that ballpark. Area. They're not cheap at all. I mean, these converters are really handy, especially we're going to be doing SDI conversion, which is what I will be doing when I buy a ProRes recorder, which is going to be real soon now, so I can actually incorporate it in my rack. So I'll be able to do ProRes high quality files for people who are requesting them. So, of course, you need a converter for that and, uh, you know, to do ProRes conversion from analog or component. Well, this is exactly what I was getting ready to buy, and I happened to uh, 
go to the Goodwill, um, and, and I found both of these pieces of equipment, and I got this at a Goodwill for $8. This is an analog SDI converter. These are expensive, and I got it for eight hours. It's like new, and it works. Can you believe this? Eight bucks. I could not believe when I saw this. Of course, I immediately knew what it was when I, when I saw it, and I was getting ready to buy one of these anyways. But uh, this is an analog component SDI converter for like going to like ProRes recorders or various S SDI uh, captures. But this is a really, really unique piece of equipment because you do need these when you're doing conversion from analog of, or component but they're pretty expensive they're not cheap well i got it for eight bucks over at, at goodwill it's absolutely um, unbelievable all right I, I, it's, some of the stuff at goodwill if you know what you're looking for you could really score big well i mean i've been looking for various different things that people don't know what they're donating and i know what they're valued at and stuff that I might need, and I just happen to score real big on these two items. But take a look at the back of this unit. I mean, this is crazy. If you flip the unit around, look at all the connectors on the back of this unit. This thing is insane for component in and component out. I mean, this is a really, really high-end switcher. I mean, if you're looking for a really good switcher, and you know, like I said, I used to work in television stations and repair shops and Various different things. A lot of TV stations used to use various switchers such as this. This is a really high-end switcher. I mean, I was just absolutely blown away. All right, I want to point out a couple other things that I actually got at Goodwill. You might, be, you might have noticed these on my desk from time to time. This is a very high-end cassette deck made by JVC. It's a three-head direct motor drive um, uh, mechanism. This is a, one of their higher-end cassette decks. Uh, I got that at Goodwill. It's like brand new. I think I must have paid 10, 15 bucks for it when I bought it. And I got that about three months ago. Another amazing find for video equipment. And, and most of this stuff is hardly even used. People donate it because it takes up space. They want to get rid of it or they're starting to use their cell phones and they just don't need this stuff anymore. Well, I picked this up for a really good price. I think it was like 15 bucks. I'm not too sure. But my biggest score is this DAT machine. This is a DTC 75 uh, ES. This is their what you call their flagship uh, DAT recorder machine. This thing is high end. I mean, I'm talking expensive shit. This is a very very expensive deck, one of their high quality DAT machines. Somebody donated this thing, and it's like brand new. They go over a thousand when they were new. I mean, these things were really expensive. Good for DAT transfers. And capturing DAT recordings to like a file to your computer. Well, I picked this up, and I think I paid 20 bucks for it, and they must have thought it was a cassette recorder. Stupid people that work at these uh, Goodwills. They have no idea what it is, what they're selling, how to price this stuff. But since I know all about this equipment, I know what to look for. So when I'm in Goodwill, I'm always scoring something kind of big. And you too, you can also score as well. If you have Goodwills in your area and you want to look for equipment and you want to get it for a cheap cost, then... You're looking for something specific, a cassette deck or a DAT machine or higher-end stuff for video capture? Go to your local Goodwill stores. I'm telling you, you could score big if you know what you're looking for. You pay virtually nothing for it. And make sure to check it and plug it in before you leave to make sure it works so you don't get something that's not any good. But I scored some serious equipment in the past three months. I just wanted to do a little video to tell you about Goodwill. Goodwill, people. That's the... That's the place. That's the way to go. If you're looking for some pretty cool stuff, maybe you're looking for a VCR. Maybe you're looking for a Betamax machine or any of that type of stuff. Goodwill gets the stuff on a daily basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be talking to you soon.